Alright. Hello, YouTube. This is the DBT Gamer Show. And this is episode 5. Now, it's time to review the fourth installment in the Mega Man Battle Network series Mega Man Battle Network 4. And this is quite. This is one of the best in the series, I think. So, let's get this that review started. Right, let's find out the DS. And get going. Right, the story for Mega Man Battle Network 4 is quite some mysterious ones. But this time, it's a new agency of net terrorists. So, their big boss is a guy called Dr. Eagle. So, the storyline is very similar to before, but this time, the entire world is under threat, literally. And that is the massive, giant, say, meteor right heading towards Earth, and the planet's got little less than a month to live. So it's quite, quite a dangerous thing that's going to happen to all these people. But the meteorite isn't exactly made of rocks. It's sort of like a cyber meteorite that's possessed by an evil net now called Duo. This net now is, I think he's owned, his own is Dr. Regal. And Dr. Regal's come to destroy the world. They can blackmail people into giving him money. Okay. And um, just one more thing before I start this review. The layout of the town has changed. This shot me quite a bit because where in the hell has land school gone? They've totally changed the layout of the town. So, get around is a little bit of a shock. So, the multiplayer for this game has, hasn't really changed that much in Battle Network 3. When you see net battles, you can still compare libraries, and you can still trade chips, so it's exactly the same. The music is still okay. It's not the best in the world, but it's still okay. Um, right, the good thing about the game, it's a role-playing game. He still plays Lion Hattari. He's about 15 years old now, I think. The controls this game work really, really well. Arrow pattern around, B to B to make you move faster. L is your help button, so you can help you through the game. And R is Jack and the Internet. A start button basically start the screen as usual. Right. Now, the big thing about Battle Network is obviously the battles. So I'm going to show you some battles. See what the battle system is like. Now, you may. If you've seen my reviews already, you on the about network games, the battles look very similar, but they have changed quite a bit because of this thing. Well, yes, I try to it. Look at chips and bust them in this. Can I just go pause it? Right, this is a new feature. It's called the emotions bar, and the emotions bar is a brand new feature to this game. It's a pretty good feature, I have to say. Firstly, the net is now going to fit with emotions, so they have an emotion bar goes in a certain number of levels. Firstly, there's calm, then it goes down to worried, then it goes down to angry. The the emotion that's above calm is called full sync. When you have full sync, you can your chips will do double the damage. And when you're in worried mode, you also have the option to use the dark chips. And in anger mode, your chips will do double the damage. So there's your emotion meter. Right. Okay, you still got so we just bust these bars and then I'll your B is your Mega Buster. 
It's somewhere around the air pad. They've got nine squares, you've got nine squares. Okay. Charge beams the work to do as it did before. Bust the level is determined by how fast you defeat enemies. Most of get above a level six, you'll get a battle chip. Okay. Right, you library. This is very much the same as Battle Network 3. It's, it's separated into three categories as before. You've got your standard chips, your mega chips, and your giga chips, and your program advances. Your standard chips are all your normal chips like your swords, your cannons, your health hooks, and all that sort of stuff. Your mega chips are your really powerful chips. But for some strange reason, they have removed quite a lot of navy chips. You haven't got roll, you haven't got guts man at all, so they're not in the game anymore for some for whatever reason. Um the giga chips are your most powerful chips, but I've only got the one which is one called Blue Moon. The program advances are still in the game, but they've dropped the zit cannons here to the giga cannons. Basically giga cannons are a new series of chips. Maybe combine three cannons together and they do a heck of a lot of damage. Um and when you program answer them into these alive so basically three swords together. Sword, white sword, long sword. Let's get a massive sword. And this sword is really difficult to dodge. It is and it also does four hundred damage. And the H burst is also there as well. I'm not sure how many programs in this game. I'm not sure how many programs that have advances are in this game because it won't tell me. So Right. It can still upgrade Mega Man the same as last time. But now they customize us back again. So, if you saw my review on Battle Network 3, you will know how Dynamic Spider works. Basically, you have these little programs which you put together in this grid, like, and most of the programs look like textured blocks. You put them together in this grid to make a, na to make a Navi program. Um, the ones with squares on are allowed to touch the one, these two black lines. So, And also, colours can't touch the, you can't have two yellows touching, touching each other. And your these programs, your, your attack programs, charge programs, speed programs, and health programs, of course. All these programs will upgrade your net now these stats. You've also got special programs that you under through and the um, shield. The shield is still crap of error. I don't know why I even bought my another program anymore. The shield is one of the worst programs I've ever seen. It's still crap because of the controls where you use the shield. The background beat, it has the worst in the battles. I have already explained this before, so I'm not going to explain it again. Right. Okay, they've, they've dropped the style changes to this game, but they've had a new feature called the Soul Unite. Now there's six soul unites in the entire game, so I'm gonna try and show you how to get the soul unites to work. So just bear with me for a while. Alright, sorry about that. But and now I'm gonna show you a soul unit. Soul unite. Soul unite basically gotta sacrifice one chip so you can do a style change. So this is Wood Soul. The uh, Soul Unite is based at the pace of starting, but they only last for three turns, so they're pretty crappy. Right. I haven't really got enough time to hear about the bad stuff about this game, so I'm going to have to go to part two. So, see you in part two. Right. Now, let's review, I'm going to be in two parts, so... I am now going to record part two, so here we go.